In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to use the grain bin assessment chart. First, we will be discussing the dangers of flowing grain. Flowing grain can be dangerous. Grain in motion acts much like quicksand. If a person is sinking in flowing grain, they have about three seconds to react before they become entrapped. Once a person becomes entrapped, they are helpless and are unable to self-rescue. It only takes about 15 seconds for a person to become fully engulfed. Preventing grain entrapment and engulfment includes assessing grain and grain bin conditions. Out of condition grain is one of the main causes of grain entrapments. Grain bridges and grain columns can cause producers to enter bins and create conditions where grain entrapment is possible. The Grain Bin Assessment Chart is a tool to help keep you safe if grain is out of condition. Following the steps as outlined can help prevent grain entrapment. If grain is in good condition, flows easily through augers and chutes, continue to regularly monitor temperature and humidity. Keeping grain in good condition is key to preventing grain entrapments. If grain is out of condition, and any augers or chutes are open, immediately power down any equipment, close any doors, and stop the flow of any product. Before proceeding with grain bin entry, or the grain bin assessment chart, make sure another person is present that is trained in the emergency response plan for your operation. It is essential that anyone working with grain be trained not only the emergency response plan, but also on the procedures for entering grain bins. Creating, reviewing, and training workers on these plans and procedures can create efficiencies and lessen the risk of grain entrapment or engulfment. If entering the bin from the top hatch, make sure appropriate fall protection equipment is used. Inspect the equipment for deficiencies before using. Keep in mind that any fall protection equipment needs to be attached to a secure anchor point. Proper training in the use of fall protection equipment is essential. Before entering any grain bin, make sure to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE, including safety eyewear, safety footwear, protective clothing, hearing protection, gloves, and respiratory equipment. Out of condition grain can create an oxygen deficient environment. Air monitoring equipment can indicate levels of oxygen. Some models can also detect dust levels. Oxygen levels need to be above 19.5% before attempting entry. Grain dust is highly explosive. Before attempting entry, let any grain dust settle Remove any potential ignition source and monitor dust levels. Proceed only once dust levels are acceptable. If green is crusted up, bridged or scaled up on the bin wall, assess and use the best and safest method to loosen the product. The method is up to each individual production as each bin, bin location, and grain operation has different hazards. Assess the hazards and develop methods and plans to loosen the grain safely and efficiently. Once grain is loosened, remove all tools and equipment, safely exit the bin, remove lockout devices from augers and chutes, and test the flow of grain. Once the product is flowing freely, remove any personal protective equipment and remember to regularly monitor the temperature and humidity of all stored grain. Each grain operation has different needs and hazards. Developing training and executing emergency plans and grain bin entry procedures should be standard operating business for any grain operation. 
For more information or to download the grain bin assessment chart, visit CASA at casa-acsa.ca.